Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Solution here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 6 from the May 2012 PUA Paper 2. If you want to see the solutions for the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so it says, Simon Long makes decorative concrete ornaments. He recorded the following information about his manufacturing operations for the year ended 31st December 2011. So the first thing I'm seeing here is inventory at start. We have four items of opening inventory. Direct materials, indirect materials, work in progress and finished goods. The next set of stuff I'm seeing is some closing stock inventory at 31st December 2011. Direct materials, work in progress, finished goods. So no indirect materials. Interesting. Then we have other items recorded were as follows. So we have purchases of direct materials and purchases of indirect materials. We then have returns outwards of direct materials and transportation costs on materials. So it doesn't distinguish between direct and indirect for the transportation costs. Then we have factory wages and supervisor salaries. We have direct expenses and factory power. And we also have general factory expenses and annual depreciation on factory equipment and building. We have one little note here that says 90% of transportation costs relates to direct materials and 10% to indirect materials. Okay, first up, calculate for Simon Long, direct materials consumed, indirect materials used. Okay, so even though it's not a financial statement, still please head up what you are doing properly. The name of the person or entity, the name of what it is you are calculating, and the period to which it applies. So we are going to start with the opening stock of 6,500 for direct materials. So let's put that in there, to which we are going to add the purchases of direct materials of 70,100. Then we are going to talk about the transportation in or carriage inwards. Now remember, even though that says 1,000, that's on all materials. The note down here said that 90% of, of that figure is with respect to direct materials. So we're going to find 90% of 1,000 and add it there. Don't forget, we also had returns outwards on direct materials of 2500 so we are going to subtract that. Now, that's going to give us a cost of materials available for use, and from that, we are going to simply subtract the direct materials closing stock. So that's going to give us a cost of materials consumed, or direct materials consumed, rather, of 67000 Now, they also asked us to do this calculation for the indirect materials, so we're going to head that working up as well. Um, it's going to be much the same, but with a few less items. So we have the opening stock of indirect materials of $400. So we have that there. Then we had purchases of indirect materials, $6,200. And don't forget the transportation costs. The figure there was 1000 on all materials. But the note told us that 10% of that cost had to do with the indirect materials. Now, in the closing inventory section, we had no closing inventory for indirect materials. So there's nothing else to subtract there. There was no returns on indirect materials as well. So we're just going to add up everything and get a cost of indirect materials use of $6,700. But just happens to be 10% of the direct materials use. Okay, that's part A. Let's take a look at part B. So part B is asking us to prepare the manufacturing account for Simon Long for the year ended 31st December 2011. Show clearly the cost of direct materials consumed, prime costs, factory overheads, and cost of production or cost of goods manufactured. So we are going to pull the $67,000 that we just found for the cost of direct materials consumed. We do have factory wages, which unless otherwise stated is direct. And we also have an item that specifically says direct expenses 6800 So we're going to put in the factory wages of 59 the direct expenses of 6800 and total add up to find total prime cost of 132800 to which we're going to add the overheads. The first thing we're going to put in is the cost of indirect materials used, which we found in the previous part of the question of 6700 now, what else do we have? Well, I'm just going to highlight this section here. And with the exception of direct expenses, everything else is going to go in the overhead section. Supervisor salaries, factory power, general factory expenses, and annual depreciation on factory equipment and building. So we have the salaries, power, factory expenses, and depreciation, totaling 41.5. Now we can deal with the work in progress item. So we have the opening stock of 12,500. So we're going to put that there. 
and we have the closing stock of work in progress of 15,100. So we're going to put that there. That's being subtracted. There's a net adjustment of 2,600. And when we add up prime costs, factory overheads, and well, subtract the net adjustment there, we get cost of production, or as you might know, it costs like it's manufactured, of 171,700. Okay, that's it for part B. Let's take a look at part C. All right, so it says to calculate the cost of goods sold. So don't forget to head up your statement, even though it's just a very small thing we're doing. Name of the entity, name of the statement, period to which it applies. So we need the opening stock of finished goods to start with. That's going to be $45,000. Let's put that here. Inventory of finished goods at start. We're going to add the cost of goods manufactured or cost of production. That's the 171700 we just found in the previous part of the question. That's going to give us cost of goods available for sale, from which we are going to subtract the stock of finished goods at end of 38400 And that's going to give us our cost of goods sold of 178300 And that's the end of the question. Okay, guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question 6 from the May 2012 POA Paper 2. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you when I have a chance. If you want to check out any more videos, I'm going to put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out my website where you'll find some free payway handles that will be useful to you. Anyway, guys, as per usual, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye.